Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Tech Metals Tuesday. I'm your host, Rebecca Jenkins, and today's episode, we're going to be discussing germanium part two. So in the last video, we went through what is germanium, where did it come from, what is its purpose, what is its utility in the everyday life, everyday world, and who discovered it, things like that. And today we're going to be talking about the performance history of this technology metal, the demand in the future, what it's looking like, the forecast of what's going to be happening, who's going to be using this, this metal in the future of the next five, seven, ten years, and who's buying germanium, uh, what type of what type of products are being created from germanium. And so uh, just a little recap from last video, germanium is a technology metal. So it's a metal used for different technologies. This is what it looks like. It's this shiny, uh, really hard, uh, blocky, lustrous metal. And uh, it was named after Germany. So uh, there's a little bit of of national pride behind the naming germanium germany uh the scientists that discovered this metal wanted to name it after the country that he's from so the demand for germanium is mainly with uh, fiber optic cables so fiber optic cables create something that we're using right now high speed internet and as you can imagine especially with the pandemic and a lot of uh, the changes in technology and innovations, there is plenty of need and demand for high speed Internet. There's more and more things being discovered, being created that requires uh, a need, a demand for high speed Internet. And so that's something that we're going to be talking about today. There's also a demand for germanium with infrared vision, like night vision goggles. So in the military, that's a really um, big demand. Um, also in different electronics, uh, ger germanium is used for that as well. But mainly its main, its main purpose is with fiber optic cables. So here is a chart of the, the trends, the history, historically, what has germanium done with its price? What, where has the price been for this technology metal over the past three years? So starting back in 2020, you've got germanium probably around 1700 US dollars and euros you can see is actually very uh, there's a, there's a quite a big gap between the price of germanium and we'll get into kind of why that is normally I don't talk about the differing prices between euros and US dollars, but this one seems a little more extreme because of the demand has been higher with uh, in European countries for needing more fiber optic cables, as opposed to the United States or for US dollar using countries. We're going to talk about this in the in a, in a few minutes, but the, the reason for that is just because of the different technology that were being created in the use of, of high speed internet and video usage and the bandwidth that was needed in European or even Asian Pacific countries, as opposed to countries using the US dollar. And so that's why there's, there's a little bit more of a price increase with the euros versus the dollar because there's actually a greater demand in euro using countries and we'll look at that uh, there's actually a chart that we have in just a minute so here's the line chart just so you can see a side by side the euros actually went into over 2000 euros for the cost of germanium and this is you can see here there is definitely a steady increase from where we started in 2020 to where we're at the end of 2022, there has been like this steady increase in demand over the last three years. So this is really interesting to look back and see how the how the prices have performed with germanium over the past couple of years. And now we're going to talk about the future of what's been forecasted um, going into the next five, seven to ten years. And according to globenewswire.com, the fiber optics market is projected to grow uh, from US dollar 4.9 billion in 2022 
and it's projected to reach around 8.2 billion by 2027. So that's nearly doubling the amount of uh, fiber optic cables being put in. And there is a huge need right now for America um, and North America catching up with the rest of the world uh, because there is a huge need for better bandwidth because of all of these remote jobs that are being created, all of these new technologies with uh, virtual reality, the metaverse, and more videos live streams needed that's why they're really doing a, a serious case of catching up to meet the demand that's needed so here's a really interesting picture a visual uh, made by mortar intelligence so thank you for mortar intelligence for making this great chart here um, you can see the high medium and low demand uh, for the fiber optic cable market between this year 2022 and going into 2027 and as you can see, the Asian Pacific, Asian Pacific countries are the highest demand for the need for faster internet, more fiber optic cables to meet the demand of the consumer for communication fiber optic cables. And you can see actually the lowest demand is in North America, South America, and if I I mean, it's there's a huge demand. I'll show you in just a minute, but it's not as quite as much as the Asian Pacific countries. And if you look at any kind of videos on on TikTok or online or on YouTube or whatever you you, you choose to to check in on what's happening around the world, you'll see how normal it is in these Asian countries to have all kinds of technological devices in the home. And if you look at some of these Asian countries, I'll use China as an example, they use facial recognition technology and they're pulling from a database online from the internet using high-speed internet. Uh, instead of having to carry around an ID um, in your wallet, they actually have where you just show your face and they scan your face and that's your facial recognition. The technology is much, much more advanced than in America. And so you can see here, it's very evident now where technology stands. And I think this should be a wake up call. And I think America is seeing that they need to be catching up with these Eastern continents and Eastern countries that are far more ahead than where they are. So this is a really great chart that shows where these different regions are growing with fiber optic cables and why is the demand growing so i named a few reasons why but truly it's because of the bandwidth so bandwidth meaning like you know when you have to wait a really really long time for a video to load that means that the internet that you're using is has a low bandwidth it's not fast enough to keep up with the demand that you have to download that video or to watch that that live stream and so bandwidth is very important to keep up with the pace of the especially a lot of jobs and a lot of people and users are on the internet needing to access data and videos and communicate with other human beings at a very high level and, and fast pace so that's something that's very important that's that's needed more fiber optic cables are needed for that and also with video streaming there's a huge switch happening from and i'm a i've been in marketing for the last eight years so i really have been seeing this there's a huge switch happening from like instagram for example was the big social media with just pictures and you're watching pictures and looking at pictures, liking pictures, sharing pictures, things like that. And then when video came in, it wasn't that popular, but now it's become completely the number one source of consuming information online. Video is what people like and prefer. And so streaming requires more bandwidth as well uh, than just downloading a simple still photo. And then we go into even more technologies that are being innovated with VR, AR, XR, etc., the metaverse, all of these virtual realities, alternative realities, these 
are all requiring greater uh, high speed internet and access to internet. So with the changes in technology and the way the world is changing, that is something that is requiring high speed internet. That is something that is requiring fiber optic cables. That is something that's requiring germanium. So if you think this doesn't apply to you, then maybe you want to take a second look at your screen time and how much you're actually spending on the web. Cause this is, this is actually the world's chart of users that are, that are using the World Wide Web in millions from to all the way back dating from 2004 till 2018. And I'm sure if I would show you the last couple of years since 2018, you would see that would continue going up as well. This is individuals using the internet and majority of the individuals using internet are using mobile devices. These aren't like desktop. It's a very small amount are using desktop still. The world is going very mobile and is requiring plenty fiber optic cables and high speed internet. So thank you for Statista for creating this graph. And um, the source for this information comes from the ITU World Telecommunications ICT Indicators Database. So now looking forward again into where we think that the fiber optic cable industry is going. Well, like I was saying, America's trying to catch up with the rest of the world, especially Asian Pacific countries. Fiber investment forecast is just to surpass 125 billion over the next five years. That's what telecompetitor.com says, because there is a huge demand and uh, the USA is a country that is becoming very aware of how far behind they are and needing to keep up with the demand. And Deloitte actually said the United States requires an investment of 130 to 150 billion in fiber infrastructure over the next five to seven years to adequately support broadband competition, rural coverage, and wireless decentification. So this is mainly focused on America because they're really behind, and I use them as an example. But germanium is really a rare metal, and uh, it's, like we said in the last video, there's only like 156 tons being mined compared to like a, over a thousand uh, tons of gold every year worldwide. And so 30% of that actually has to be taken from recycled materials just to keep up with the demand of this metal. So when these countries start realizing we don't have enough germanium to go around, what are we going to do? We're going to be looking to the companies like TMN Global and their partners who have invested and kept in bonded warehouses these metals so that these countries can keep up with the demand. And so this is very interesting as an investor. Obviously, do your own research. This is never financial advice, but um, this is a, a really good metal to look into to diversify your portfolio because, as you can see, America is in really extreme demand needing this metal to keep up with the internet bandwidth, high speed internet demand that is upon germanium right now. And also it's not, it's not just needed for commercial use, but also for the military. America being a very, very strong military, they need infrared uh, technology, infrared goggles, things like that to continue their work in the military. And so it's very interesting to see, we look back on how it has performed in the past and it's been pretty steady since the beginning of 2021 going into this year. And the forecasts are looking very positive. Do with this information as you will. And I hope this has been educational for you and um, for anyone who lives in Germany, uh, germanium is the medal of your country, apparently, because it was named after, after your country. Thank you so much for tuning in to another Tech Metals Tuesday episode. 
I look forward to the next video we're having, which is going to be a super fun one. It could be a rare earth metal, could be a precious metal, but every week we try to mix it up and tell you about a metal that you may never have heard of, or maybe give you a new perspective on a metal that you've seen a whole bunch in the industry. So have a great rest of your week uh, going into the beginning of December. I hope you had some time to spend with family if you celebrated Thanksgiving holiday and have a great day, great week. And I will see you guys all in our next video on Tech Metal Tuesday in December. Ciao.